Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at SUM2 from the Array1 section, um, and this is the Java solution. Remember, there's a Python section called List1, and they have the same problems, um, and, but I do want you to understand that arrays and lists are different. It's just when this was set up, they talk about them like they're the same thing. All right, the problem states, given an array of ints, return the sum of the first two elements in the array. If the array length is less than two, just sum up the elements that exist, returning zero if the array is length zero. And we can look at the examples here. Sum of one, two, three. Sum two, one, two, three gives me three because I just add one and two. Here I add one and one, and here I add one and one. So I'm just going to add the first two elements. And initially, I'm just going to do this: return nums at zero plus nums at one, the first two elements. I hit go, and you'll see it works for many of the cases. But these three cases fail, and these are cases where the length is one or less. And that's our classic index out of bounds error. I'm trying to access an element that doesn't exist. So what I have to do before I actually can assume that there's two elements, I have to make sure that's the case. So let's start with this. Well, first, let's just, if there's no elements, then the sum's zero. So I'm going to do if nums.length is equivalent to zero. Well, in that case, well, I'm going to open the brace. I'm going to return zero. And I hit go, we see this problem is now solved. Well, now we have to check if the length is one. So if nums.length equivalent to 1. Well, we're going to return nums at 0. And there it is. Now, a couple things here. You'll notice, because these are single line conditional structures, I can get rid of those braces, and it works fine. And, you know, you might still be saying, well, wait a second, you're returning these two values down below. Why doesn't that give me an index out of bounds there? And that's that big idea that as soon as a return statement is reached, the method stops. So if I enter this if statement, I'm not coming out. If I enter this if statement, I'm not coming out. So the only way I'm going to make it down here is if these two if statements evaluate to false. I hope this video helped. Um, please feel free to ask any questions. Have a wonderful day.